about six weeks, I'll be traveling to New York City to go visit my family in the States. And one of the things I plan to do there is I want to take a lot of uh, night uh, urban photography. Today I had some uh, business to attend to in downtown Bangkok, and I thought I would come uh, down here and bring my camera along and start practicing nighttime photography. So that's the, the goal of my trip here today. But as you can see, it isn't dark yet. I'm done with all my chores. So I thought, what better place to uh, wait for uh, sunset to happen than at the top of Bangkok's tallest building, the Mahanakon Tower. And it's one of my favorite structures here in Bangkok, not because of its pixelated design, although that's kind of cool. But there's just a backstory on it that I and like. This artwork is uh, in the eye of the beholder. But I've tried to take photographs of this thing, and I, I cannot find a way to represent it in a photograph that makes sense or looks attractive. It's just an ugly sculpture, if you ask me. Now, what it is, I hate to say that, because it's representative of a uh, Hindu religious story, a multi-headed elephant, uh, the god Indra, uh, the god of creation, rode a multi-headed elephant. So that's the, that, that's the religious story, and I hate to be disrespectful to that. But this thing is just not a very good sculpture, if you ask me. Now, the reason I'm bringing that up is because the sculpture it replaced <laughs> is, is a story in itself. Uh, the Mahanakon building is supposed to be haunted because it was built on a Chinese cemetery, they relocated the graves. And uh, just prior to, uh, uh, or just after actually opening the building, they uh, were lowering in place a, uh, a sculpture, a million dollar sculpture called Bangkok Soul. Bangkok Soul, unfortunately, had Sanskrit writing on it that said corpse. And because of that, that just added to the negative local folklore about this building being haunted. So they replaced it with this thing. I think they made a uh, an unwise purchase. Well, it turns out that the observation deck in the Mahanakon building was closed, so I had to come and find another place to shoot the sunset. So I took a sunset shot of this uh, art, uh, golden dome building that was made famous by the movie Hangover 2. <clears throat> Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this lane, there's no stop in this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight, never stop, never changed All the squad here to play and I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no I push play I won't stop till I make a change. I'm on a walkway beneath the BTS, the light rail system, between the Chitlom station and the Silom station. And it, this is the only place that I know of in Bangkok where one can walk without having to worry about dodging motorbikes. Some grab delivery guy running at 30 miles an hour looking at his iPhone for his next address who's probably had a couple of beers for lunch. You know, that kind of thing. That goes on all the time. So I came here to shoot a couple of pictures of this very well-known tourist attraction, the Erewhon Shrine. I get lost in the words I say. I don't push pause, no, I push play. I won't stop till I make a change. I withdraw on the things I make. I turn flaws into flawless traits. I build tall, never cap in space. I won't stop till I hear him say Any way you go in this interesting city, you can find a backstory that's even more interesting than what you see on, on the surface. The reason that this Erewhon Shrine is here, in the late 50s, they started building a hotel 
called the Erewhon Hotel. It was one of Bangkok's first five-star hotels. And this is the grounds where it was built. As a matter of fact, this now is the Grand Hyatt where the Erewhon Erewhon used to be. This is an upscale part of town. You can uh, tell by the ads that are present here. They don't sell Rolexes to motorcycle drivers, like that one. Like I said, anywhere you go in the city, you gotta watch for motorbikes on the sidewalk. So yeah, the Grand Hyatt uh, replaced the Arawan Hotel, but the Arawan, when it was being built, had a string of bad luck incidences. A couple of construction people were killed, and a ship delivering needed materials for the construction of the hotel sank somewhere in the South China Sea, further delaying the project. It had become known as a bad luck project. Luck is a big thing in Asia. They, uh, I mean, you know, luck happens. Sometimes stuff happens, good stuff happens, bad. That has nothing to do with anything except luck. But in Asia, it seems that they, uh, they believe that they can conjure up good luck or chase away bad luck if they do the appropriate spiritual practices. And uh, a, 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 a Hindu priest, a Brahmin, told the, uh, the construction company, the people building the Arawan Hotel, to build a shrine here. So they did. They built this shrine called the Arawan Shrine, and the bad luck stopped. So it became known around the region, not just in Thailand. I'm told people come here from all over the region from Korea and Japan and other places, China, to uh, pay their respects to this particular shrine in the belief that it will bring you good fortune. In 2009, this very fancy mall that I'm pointing my camera at, the Central World Mall, was set afire by uh, revolutionaries, people who were, uh, who, who were fighting the, the established order here in Thailand. I don't want to get into the politics, but anybody knows what happened back then, it was a difficult time. And uh, that mall caught fire, uh, and it was a very serious fire. I guess they weren't close enough to the shrine to uh, have the good luck rub off on them. But somewhere along 2000, or I wanna say 2012, in that general area, I could be wrong on the date, Muslim terrorists from southern Thailand set off a bomb here at the shrine, killing two people and injuring about 20 others. So it hasn't been strictly good luck, I guess one could say. But nonetheless, as you can see, people are very serious about, um, about coming and paying their respects here. Like I said, I came because it's just a good place for photographic images at night the ostensible reason for this video. So that was a fun day. So I'm here at my favorite restaurant, uh, Monsoon. They have a very big menu, the food's good, prices are reasonable, good service, which is hard to find anywhere around here. And they also have something that's very hard to find. French onion soup. That's a commodity that you don't come by easily in these parts. I'm going to dig in. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.